Hello, what's up? This is your boy Atlas Knight, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right here, Atlas Knight. And this is my beautiful Corvette convertible. Got the beautiful LED lights right here. Let's see if I can turn it off. I think my key fob battery may be down. I'm not sure. I have to get it replaced. But anyway, though, uh, there's supposed to be some Black Friday sale games today over here at GameStop. It's uh, worldwide. I'll try my best not to hold the camera down because I was paying attention to that on YouTube. And I'm like, eh, who really gives a shit if I'm filming someone else? I'm not really concentrating on them. I'm like, I'm concentrating on the video games. I'm like, I'm not even studying you. Like, I'm studying those video games. That's all I care about. Oh, yeah, and the Corvette, of course. They have it right up here, the Black Friday deals. Got to make sure I don't get run over. Here's all their new hours. And the Black Friday deal, November 13th through November 22nd. Now, like, all the discounts you see on the game will already be on the sticker. That's the good thing. You call some look online at uh, GameStop.com. They have Alien Fire Team Elite for $10 on PS5. Back for Blood. That's the uh, special successor to Left 4 Dead on the Xbox 360 and PC. And here's the game I'm going to get right here, Dolman. This is supposed to be a horror game. I was looking at gameplay for it on YouTube. It kind of reminds me of Dead Space. I'm like, uh, why not? Oh, and of course, I'm going to buy me Evil Dead. I watched the, uh, Bruce Campbell's TV show, Evil Dead. It was pretty good. God of War Ragnarok. I'm gonna wait till that gets on sale. And they have this in Ch no, they have this game called The Chat. That's a horror game too. I saw it, but I seen someone beat the game in like less than five hours. But uh, so far, um, from what I've seen on YouTube, it has pretty good gameplay. I watched the ending and everything. Uh, if this wasn't on sale, it would be uh, $49.99. Let's see. I think they may have some Nintendo Switch games on sale too. And uh, another thing you can do if you want to build up your collection really quick, just uh, look around at your local pawn shops where you live at. It can be any city because like sometimes uh, people at the pawn shops be selling games to the pawn shops for like ridiculously low prices. I bought like... No, I bought $300 worth of Nintendo Switch games from up over there for $8 to $10 a piece, sold them to GameStop, 
and made over eight hundred dollars in store credit. Well, eight hundred and twelve dollars in store credit. I'm basically doing the same thing Phoenix Resale does sometimes, the YouTuber. Let's see. Should be some Nintendo Switch games on sale. Uh, just to remind you, not every game, no, not every Nintendo Switch game is going to be on sale. They hold more value than the PS5 and Xbox Series X games for a longer time. Uh, especially the ones that are exclusive. They got Paper Mario or the Origami King for twenty nine ninety nine. It's not bad. Man, mostly I was kind of hoping this uh, game right here, Mario Strikers Battle League, would be on sale for like twenty dollars. But I'll probably have to wait till next year on that, or look it up on eBay or something. Oh yeah, here's a regular Nintendo Switch right here. That's probably the one with the, with the extended... No, 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 never mind. This is the original Nintendo Switch right here. And that's the Nintendo Switch OLED. That's the newest model. The one with the biggest screen. And it has the extended battery life. And this is the Nintendo Switch Lite. That also has the extended uh, battery life. But the best model, if you're um, wondering to buy, is definitely the Nintendo Switch OLED model because it has a bigger screen and it looks cooler. Let me see over here. I'm not a big fan of Xbox One games, but uh, I'll go ahead and show some of y'all anyway. Hmm, they have Dolman 2 on Xbox One. I did not know that. Oh yeah, after this I'll check around and I'll best buy and see what kind of sales they have and I'll post that on my YouTube channel too. Oh yeah, and there are some Xbox Series X games you can play on the original Xbox One, but not all of them. Tales of Vesperia. That reminds me, I gotta look up that, I gotta see if they have that game for Nintendo Switch. Still gotta get River City Girls from Play Asia. That's coming out on December first, fiscally. And uh, I don't know if they had these headsets on sale yet. I'm not really sure. Because last year I saw some for fourteen ninety nine. I've just got to test the controller, make sure it doesn't have drift, and then I can test the console. Uh. 
Let's see what. Oh, there's some more right here. Oh yeah, if you do have a PS5 and you have more than 10 games, I highly recommend you do buy a two terabyte SSD drive because you're gonna need it. One terabyte will not be enough. And uh, two TV is the, the highest internal hard drive. I mean, the, it's the highest internal SSD drive you can put inside a PS5. Anything bigger than that, you're gonna need an external hard drive. Make sure I'm not missing anything else from around here. Uh, I don't really think I'll show the toys and stuff. Uh, not really too interested in that. I'll go ahead and show these over here one more time. I don't think I filmed these up here. Oh, they got a used copy of Back for Blood up here for uh, $18.99. I'll show some of the PS4 games as well. I still love PS4. I still got my PS4 Pro. The only reason why I keep my PS4 Pro is because, like, I got the PSVR headset. And for some weird reason, like, uh, you can't adjust your PSVR on your uh, PS5. If you have it connected to the PS5, it will not let you readjust it. But if you're on the PS4 Pro, it will let you adjust it. So that's the main reason why I keep my... Uh, PlayStation VR. I mean, my PlayStation 4 Pro. Let's see. Oh, yeah. They have the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Kawabunga Collection for $20 on PS4. I think I saw another copy for PS5 right here. They got it for $25 if you want the PS5 copy. Yeah, now see, if this wasn't on sale, it would be a $39.99 plus tax. But it's still a good game to buy, though, most definitely. But uh, I already have this game on the Nintendo Switch. I almost have as much PS... Um, no, I almost have as many Nintendo Switch games as I have uh, PS4 games. I have over 237 physical copies of uh, PS4 games. I hate buying digital stuff. Like physical only. Oh, and they get the Last of Us remake. This is a good game. I like the first one, but I don't like the second one where they kill off Joel. I hate that. <laughs> they need to do a remake on The Last of Us Part 2 and keep Joel alive and just kill off the, um, what's her name, Ellie's girlfriend instead and keep Joel alive. I will buy this, but I'm going to wait for it to go on sale, which probably won't be for another two to four months from what I'm assuming let's see this vampire game nah, it's not on sale wish it was but anyway though uh, that's pretty much all there is left to film except for the toys that's about it I guess I will go ahead and film the toys. Screw it.
They got a Naruto backpack. This is a teenage Naruto, and they got the uh, Pikachu backpack. Yep. Huh. And this is a surprise right here. They got Sailor Moon Monopoly. I'm not really interested in this stuff. I do like the anime. Uh, the old and the new. I just don't really care that much for the Monopoly games. And if you didn't know, they do have a Sailor Moon game on Super Nintendo, but it was never released in America. It was only released in Japan. Hopefully one day they'll remaster those uh, Sailor Moon RPGs and put them on Nintendo Switch. They also have My Hero Academia toys and uh, see, Mortal Kombat 11. This Endeavor yeah, one looks pretty good. Oh, and they got gift cards too. Of course, um, I mean, you can buy gift cards fiscally, but you can also buy them digitally off to your um, console if you're connected online on the internet. They got Batman toys. DC Multiverse. Oh, they got some, yeah, they got a PS5 and they have an Xbox Series X over here now. That's rare to see. People PS5, actually kill over these. PS5, oh, okay. Yeah. People be killing over these game consoles. That's the crazy part. Oh, they got some more toys over here. The Riddler and let's see what's this guy Spawn. Or no, his name's Overkill. Uh, oh, there's some more over here. Well, anyway, this is Atlas Knight. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see y'all later. And uh, have a good day. Peace. They're all right headset. They're not the worst.